Hey, exit room, exit room. Do not open if you see a big red turban, a bunch of blue to doilies, or a big pile of paper. It's <laughs> not a means. Josh will be down here on the pink chair. Good treat of it. Yeah, this is quaint, huh? It's the studio. It's nice. What's in here? Oh, nice. Vacuum, the loo? Skip to my loo? But yeah, they say like when you cloud them. Yes, let's do a vegan skillet. Good idea. Good idea. Walking home with our groceries. Hopefully it doesn't rain.
No, but you get to hang out with the penguins. Oh, here's one. Here you go.
Well, they have like a something running through them. What is that?
gotta go to the next one. Come on, put some more. Alright, hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. This way, right this way. Hop, hop, hop. Whoa. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, he's big. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, right, hey. Oh, okay. I'm late for the delicatessen.
should be. See any? Look at this guy. <laughs>
Gelato. We hit the gelato today. Num nums. Swordfish in honor of Uncle Billy Bop. Ow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Is that, 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 is that,
But yes, yeah. but I, had, actually, I, just, I just discovered Joe Burrow. Have you heard about this thing? I don't know how I feel about it. It's going to show the time. Talks to you. He's just the uh, first you've ever seen. He's just sure. selecting a Christmas tree. He's very. <laughs> you just talk, and it's like just your brain slides out the back. I've seen people who live in New York City say, I just watched that. I'm a sweet man just being nice and sitting in the big old army. Last year, I had you guys in the first show. It was 15 minutes. There's a there for me to fix up water fountain. Hold it down. Just to stay calm. Can you guys be safe? Which is possible with a rather large portion of the podcast. Asian. Okay, all right. You sound like you're ready, so. Oh, yeah, but you just got to be. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Thanks. It's all good. You're just going to do it. Massachusetts, welcome to this walking tour of the great city of Boston. Over the next 90 minutes, we're going to be covering 11 sites on Boston Historic Freedom Trail. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be getting into this colonial and revolutionary history where it literally happened, which I cannot stress this enough. Just like London, Boston had a bunch of giant fires that devastated the town. And just like London, we then retained, we kept our original medieval street plan. So I know the best way to shut someone's brain down completely is to say, do you have any questions? <laughs> but if anything comes to mind, we're going to be walking about a mile. Between stops is a great time to ask. We're only a group of about 40 people. That's actually kind of small. If you have anything you want to ask, by all means, between stops is a great spot. But we're actually heading over here a little bit to get a better view. Boston. This is all real. None of this is fake. This is all 2,345 or so authentic Puritan and Revolutionary era headstones and footstones, all races, ages, sexes, classes of Boston, pushed together in one big jumble. Again, not Disney World, all real. This was uh, started in 1660.
on grapes and cranberry is we have no idea. We don't know why people leave money on grapes. Because again, we still can't pass behind us. You're still in this space, probably if you can. Thank you kindly. It's a busy day in the cranberry. So we don't know when people leave pennies. There's a bunch of possible explanations for the coins. One is that in Greek and Roman traditions, you leave coins on someone's eyes or their tongues. They can pay to get to the afterlife. Also in Judaism, you leave stones. There's some stones on Revere. Also, he was a coppersmith. Maybe you leave pennies as a way of showing your respect for the man who worked with copper his whole life. People see them. Monkey see, monkey do. They start putting pennies everywhere, which is how people behave. But there's another possible explanation, which is I'm told. If you go to Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, where we bury our combat casualties to this day, different coins can have to an Italian immigrant to Boston named Charles Ponzi invented the original Ponzi scheme. Wow. Legendary pyramid scam, much completed sin, that wiped out countless savings of the entire city of Boston. Really smooth guy in a pinstripe suit. And finally, 19, uh, that, 1635, this space we're standing in, this plaza, is the original foot, like, footprint of Boston Latin School, first public school in North America, just five years after landing the Puritans had established public education, education being a core Puritan value. They Shows up in this town five, five years in. She starts doing Bible study meetings in that house for the wives of Boston to be able to show up and hear from Anne repetition of what the preacher had said at the meeting. The problem is Anne is very smart and knows the Bible from the back better than the preacher does.
no more king. Two blocks away, that became Long Wharf, the largest dock in North America, where all the ships would dock to sell their goods. So ships dock down there, you march up all these all the way to the state, to the governor's top, basically at his doorstep, and you go in this building to pay all your taxes and to test in fees to the British government, which is why it's perfect, it's a Bank of America now. <laughs> yeah, so there's all the king's monies in here. Of course, you have a guard posted with the town in Up, babe. Nice you made it up. Are you sliding? Other side. First of all, it's a tank. Second of all, you see the guns on that man? Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I know my lane. I don't want my death to be in Boston. They'll put me in that graveyard. And they put a picture of him above it, like, yeah, this is who did this. Guns McGee. Guns McGee. <laughs>
That's just the Baston Street. Right, in. Aim, 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 aim. Ooh, ooh. ooh almost deaf to me. Deaf to me. But that's where wow. we have to like to point that out. Know, like, it was um, tight box. Hot. You were making beef. I'd love to be able to make something for you. This was all. It's a good question. Well, like, this is still, it's, it's, it's again, it's all day. Poetry? Civil War. Civil War for Josh. And then we. There you go, man. Again, this is the alarms. Josh's flavor. Yeah. It's for Jay. Fishing? Yep. It's pretty. Yeah, it is. Lots of upkeep, I'm sure. You're going left or straight left? I'm going to go around. Same as in San Francisco. This is a cool tree. Yeah. This is an art. Yeah.
that we saw when we were getting the one. Yep, that's this yeah, place. I think that was it. A lot of landscaping upkeep. Are you disappointed by some of the Paul Revere facts and myths? Emailing people over and over and over. Yeah, I didn't know that. Email back, like, stop. <laughs> we just got camped. I wish I had something for you. Wish I had something for you. Sorry. <laughs> Don't have anything for you. See ya. How does that even happen? How do you know the difference between Chevron and Herringbone? What's the difference? Lines up like this, and oh. chevron lines up like this. So a little wider. No, it's like the bottom. So if this comes down here, it meets with it here. Oh, got Instead it. Instead of in a triangle.
Hi. Hi. Say that again? Said I bet these are pricey. Oh yeah, I'm sure. They're cool though. This is what I like. I like the little back neighborhoods of the This whole thing must be Beacon Hill. It's nice back here. if that's just all one house or if it's separate. Good question. Uh-huh. This is giving me San Francisco vibes. It feels like Yeah. Not quite as good. Yeah. Hello. Ooh, look at that cobblestone. Is this it? It's the right there.
Wow. Look at the architecture, man. That's so cool. Yeah, that's amazing. I'll take your picture on the step. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. I mean, is anyone coming here for books or just pictures, basically? This is the, this is the reading room that I showed you.
section to new section. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Smooch? We'll see. Oh, not quite. She would have given Paul Revere one, I know that. I know that. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're nearing. Here's the hustle and the bustle all at once. Where do we go in? Oh, this is it. I thought it was that. No. Okay. That's a gate A. Oh, sure. Look at Fenway Park. There's the sign. I don't know which side we would be on. I think you can go in wherever. That's just going over here. Sausage or hot dog, cold drinks. Take them inside, guys. Food and unopened water is allowed inside the ballpark. a little bit. We can walk around and explore and then uh, we can check out the field and stuff. Okay. Sure. 
Same basis. Like you can't out, you can't be like, oh, I'm such a big fan. Can I have a picture? I haven't seen him in years. Huh? I haven't seen that man in years. You know? It's the sun. One of them might be the one getting married. I don't know his names, but he was from Massachusetts, and then back of the jersey said Bruce Union. When I played for Wakefield.
World War II, moving on.
Amy, you ready to be captain? I guess so. Today's the day. Attention guests of the USS Constitution. Welcome to the oldest commissioned warship afloat in the world. The USS Constitution is 224 years old and has been victorious at 33 at sea engagements. On each deck we have an active duty US Navy sailor wearing the Navy uniform of the early 1800s. Please watch your head and footing as you transit the ship. Do not climb on any part of the ship and do not cross any safety lines or enter in any restricted areas. Direct any questions to the sailors wearing the historic Navy uniform. Thank you for visiting today. Let's see it. Ready, aim, fire! Oh, <laughs> oh wow, Abe. <laughs> A natural. <laughs> Twice already. Mm -hmm. Hit my head twice already. There's another uh, level down too. Oh, there
Wow. Even shorter men work down here. That's the water line of the ship, so the feet are in the water right now. If we were to basically take the walls off, uh, or basically the whole head off, and then these, these um, hammocks right here were actually very dual purpose. So, we're going to take this down right here. You basically kind of lay it down right there. If you have any personal belongings, uh, you basically put it in there. Go ahead, flip this, and then bring that up. And then now, when you take anything with you, you can now put it on your back. And now you can go ahead and move things around if you just need to get somewhere quick. Um, if they're trying to store it, then they go ahead and basically roll it up. So you go ahead and then so basically you take all their items and basically roll it up into their hand. Now you got yourself a, um, an item burrito, which will then go right into the sea bag, which will then be on the side once again. Um, so everything, could, this is a multi-purpose tool so that they had at the disposal. Now the headphones are over here. Now the other thing to think about too, is the same with these substations to make them work. Tall sailors back then, huh? No. Oh boy. Yeah, stand over there and film me so we can see what I'm doing. So I have to walk in my head while I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, I was on this here ship, I was. Fond memories, fond memories. Film a little bit. Yeah.
This is their blow dryer. They have a nice shower and come over here and put their head right in front. Yeah, I don't think they had heater number nine of the original U.S. Constitution. I don't think so either. Without any purpose of evasion. Oh, I'm sorry. For cause of evasion. And then I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office of which I am about to enter. So help me God. Any questions? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it almost looked like I uh, knew what I was doing. Stand by for bills! eagle just landed on your head the symbol of american freedom don't move i don't know what he's doing up there aim he's in your lap now don't move don't move it's a once in a lifetime experience it's a once in a lifetime experience oh he's gone he's gone wow aim how that happened in american's freedom capital of the world too wow Let's, hit, let's have a heart, a hand over the heart. That's right. In God we trust. E pluribus what? What? E pluribus what? I don't know. Either. E pluribus unum, okay? Out of many, one. <laughs> <laughs> and that one is you, Aim. Stop. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, hey. the way tits
Also. Ah, ja, das ist gut. She's a movie star. So.
We went um, before the state fair. Yes. Are you excited? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Thank you. Oh, wow. Sugar. Sugar. There it is. 
I'm thinking I'm not even thinking. You're thinking you're talking about crazy stuff. I'm thinking should I tell I don't know why. I saw food and I'm thinking she and I go oh, that's uh, what you see. Yeah. He's like, what do you mean you're a problem? I think you're coming. Yeah, it's like we're in the same one. Then of course you guys are in the clock. Yeah, get right now. See that picture? I'm texting back and Bobby on it. Bobby goes, I'm sorry I didn't come, but I was worn out. You don't want to spend the money because you don't have it. You said, but you want to go to Italy? Fine, sit here. I'm getting you live doing your job. Getting you live, yeah, there it is. There's the pro right there. There he is, the master. The master. Keep saying, no, what is this? They're not special to you. Aim, were you embarrassed? He thought that lady left him behind. Are you embarrassed? Can I get a kiss?
Now it's blowing in, yep. Oh, no kidding, really? <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Thunder it too. <laughs> I have to film this. <laughs> Avenue. Yeah, we did a lot of cool stuff. We went to, um, obviously we went to Fenway, had to see Fenway. Yep. Um, we saw, we went on the, we did the Freedom Trail. Yeah, Freedom Trail's great. Yeah, it really is, man. It was just really inspiring. Um, yeah. went to the public library, which was really neat. Yep. Um, the aquarium. Um, what else did we do? A lot of seafood, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Um, did you go to the seaport? Did you go down to the seaport area? Did we go to the seaport area? I don't think so. We were down by the harbor. Okay. Uh, and we saw the co the, the Constitution, the ship. Mountain Avenue. Over in Charleston. So that was awesome. Yeah. Um, I can say. A lot of walking, but it's, I loved it. It's pretty, man. It's I've never been. Awesome. Uh, I've been to a lot of places, haven't it's been here. It's great, like this time Turn left yeah. onto Mountain Avenue. Yeah. But you know, like Milwaukee, January is not fun. No, not fun. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yesterday we had a little rain, but otherwise Continue on Mountain it was Avenue great. for one and a half yeah. miles. Weather for walking pretty, around. We've had a great summer. Yeah. yeah. Last year, it freaking rain the whole summer. Oh, oh yeah. really? And it was like, it wasn't even like drizzle. It was just rain, consistent rain. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, that makes it hard to do things. Right. Yeah. <coughs> I suppose that's just hit or miss. Some some summers maybe are like that. Right. It, you know, it's funny. It was like, I've never seen a like it was last year, that much rain. Yeah. Um, but making up for it this year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Put the heel of one hand in the center of the chest and then put your other hand on top of the first. I'm there, I'm there. Probably based on compression bath break, right? half placement. I'm going too fast. I'm good. I got a good rate going. I got a good rate. I'm right in the green. I'm right in the green. See me? Uh, good for you. <laughs> 88. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yoo-hoo.